Morning everyone, so it's looking a little bit hot and uh, it's it sweaty. Hot, that's right. It is hot and sweaty. Had a lovely couple of days at Hatton Country Park uh, between Stratford and Warwick. Um, had the Commonwealth cycle race on as you'd have probably seen on the other comments. Uh, but yeah, just a really nice pitch. Very uh, nice uh, site wardens, very, yeah. very lovely. You know, prices, they are what they are in the peak of summer and when they have a lot of options around. Um, but it was okay, we enjoyed it. And we're about to set off towards Glastonbury. Glastonbury, place we've never been and you know we like our ancient monuments. <laughs> <laughs> Aha. and um, mysterious objects <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we, we've been in that area a little bit but we've not been to Glastonbury Tor so let's go and see if King Arthur existed wow maybe he did maybe he didn't but we will see <laughs> well we moved on and we're in Gars Glade Farm near uh, Glastonbury. Yeah, Glastonbury Tours just round the back. It's cost us £30 per night, uh, £30 for two nights, £15 a night, no electric hookup, uh, but there are showers and toilets at the top. It's pitch as you like. Uh, we arrived late so we didn't bother putting the blown air or air awning out so we just put the standard one out got wonderful views uh, you can we've got views of Glastonbury Tour over there yeah it's all good it's lovely um, I'm going to describe the toilets as reasonably clean but rustic they are built into an old cow shed, but uh, so are the showers. But you've got fresh water, you've got recycling, you've got an alsan pint, you know, you've got everything, everything that you need. And you've got a pitch up site, which is this field. And there's a CL site at the top or a private one, which I believe has electric hookup. Can't tell you what their costs are there, but that's it. Uh, Gars Glade Farm and camping uh, near Gowden, Gordon, Gowden, well, I don't know, it's just to the north of um, Glastonbury. But I'll put the link in the description.
everyone we've uh, had the big hike up to the famous Glastonbury Tour which you can see behind me the only bit that remains of the tower of the old church that used to stand on top but there are stunning views and you can imagine back in the past when this flat land was perhaps flooded and it was the Vale of Avalon that this would have been an island surrounded by sea or perhaps it was just low lying mist that made it look like so but yeah it's a good walk we've walked from Glastonbury we've walked from the Abbey and uh, when I do a panorama shot I'll try and point some of the things out so you've got the tower itself its markings this was the church tower that originally stood here. But absolutely stunning views all the way across. You've got Glastonbury itself down here. You can make out the church and parts of the uh, Abbey Gardens with a there's a small red crane down there, that's the Abbey Gardens where they had a concert the other day. It's just stunning. And this is just a singular high spot, a magical high spot in a very, very flat land. Not, not the right shape. 
Right, so what did you think of your trip to Glastonbury Tour? It was uh, totally wonderful, a little bit warm, but uh, it has a very special feeling about the place. It's, uh, it's wonderful and the views from the top are beautiful, all free, all open for everybody to access. As long as you can make it up the millions of stairs and the steep bits. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a good climb up. We're taking the long shallow route back, which we probably should have done that elsewhere. If we'd have gone back the other way, I would have put the drone up uh, from the road, uh, but I can't officially take off from National Trust property. They can't stop me flying over it, but they can stop me with their bylaws from taking off. So I'd have to get off National Trust property before I took it up. And I don't think I'm going to find any for a long way yet. Steps. Yes, I can see the steps, but I'm trying to stay within the guidelines. But if I can do it, I'll see what I can do.